I'm in Beehive Basin on a west facing slope at 9,000 feet where yesterday a split border was caught and killed in this avalanche. Him and his partner were touring up to this slope on a, following a skin track which disappeared and had been drifted over by snow and they started breaking trail up this slope and a few hundred feet above me they got a large collapse, saw cracks shooting out from them and the slope gave out underneath them. One rider was carried and buried up against this tree. The other one was able to self-rest on a tree up higher. The higher person called 911 and then descended down to his partner here and started first aid. Big Sky and Gallatin County Search and Rescue walked in from the trailhead and started a heli rescue. Um, the rescuers got on scene and continued with first aid and they were doing CPR when the helicopter short hauled the, the victim out to Big Sky Fire and Life Flight and he was later transported to the hospital where he died from his injuries. I'm at the crown of the avalanche a couple hundred feet up from where it was triggered. It broke about 400 feet wide, averages two feet deep and the slope angle here is 40 degrees. They collapsed this layer of weak, really weak sugary depth ore down on the ground which propagated all the way across the slope and up the slope. And last week, about six days prior to the avalanche, this area got three feet of snow, equal to almost three inches of snow water equivalent, so a huge load that that weak snow is unable to support. 